we don't have hazardous weather. We don't have hot temperatures. We don't have gusty conditions. We don't have fire weather, though I want you to be fire weather aware with any machinery that you utilize. It could spark uh, cigarette butts, trailer chains, hot engines parked over dry grass. We've been reporting about small brush fires along the interstate, wildfires down in Arizona right now. Uh, that's right around Flagstaff, that current wildfire, and it is drifting smoke and haze east of the divide. Later this week, folks, we're going to get our southwest flow moving in. We could see this smoke and haze shifting a little bit further to the west over the western slope. So just I'm telling you now, in the next couple of days, we could see that smoke and haze being reintroduced to the area. It's not the best situation. Uh, this morning, we started on the cool side of things. Montrose, we should be about 52. Grand Junction, we should be about 55, 56. So this is all courtesy, the cool air, courtesy of our exiting storm system yesterday. Now, it really lingered yesterday afternoon across Colorado, southern Colorado stationary front just kind of hung in place here, uh, but we did maintain clear conditions last night. We do it this morning. We will this afternoon below normal temperatures. That's in reference to yesterday's afternoon temperatures and this morning's low temperatures. That will not be the case today because the exiting system marches further towards the Great Lakes region. Uh, severe weather for them, not for us. We're going to see a lot of sunshine today. Breezy conditions. Hey, 15 to 25 miles per hour. It's not enough to kick an RFW in place, but it is enough uh, to maybe bring a little bit of relief, but we're not all that hot this afternoon. Our temperatures are going to be spot on, but once we march into Thursday and march into Friday, we really start to heat things up. One of the elements in play will become that southwest flow, courtesy of a trough of low pressure developing now over the Pacific Northwest, dropping along the coast and then swinging towards us. This will cook our temperatures on Thursday and Friday. This will get our wind really going on Friday into Saturday because we will have a cold front drawing in. In addition to that trough of low pressure, we have a ridge of high pressure that's going to be fading westward towards that low. So that's going to create this squeeze play. So we'll have some strong wind as a result, but also both of these features, the low and the high, they're going to drive in our rain opportunities. We're going to pick up source regions out of the eastern Pacific, the northern Mexican mountains, evapotranspiration uh, from these mountains, but also moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. So a bit of a subtropical tap, if you will. It's not going to be a permanent feature. It's just a taste of what I hope to be more regular summer thunderstorms this summer. Now that is going to be a part of our North American monsoon season. Granted, we are on the northern periphery of it and we generally don't get direct hits, but this is a decent opportunity to get measurable rain in the bucket and that occurs this weekend. So that's something we get to look forward to. Also looking forward to this afternoon. I'm going to step out of the picture. I want you to see wherever you're going to be working or playing. Temperatures today are going to be perfect. This is right where we should be for this time of the year. Uh, get outside. That's the order of business. A little bit hotter on Thursday and Friday. We get wind back in the forecast Friday into Saturday. Rain showers developing for the weekend. That's great news for all locations with rain in the forecast for Saturday, Sunday, possibly into Monday. But before that happens, we get this heat and we get the wind going. So all the more reason to get outside today and enjoy these great conditions. I'm not saying play hooky from school or work. Well, there's no school, but you still need your you have to meet your obligations.